All right, welcome back. Um, we're looking at the last one on worksheet number one. We're looking at part six. Uh, this one, the right side view is missing, right? We've got my top, my front, and my right side. I'm going to start by drawing that view. Right, I should see this rectangle here and this rectangle there. That shows me the triangle portion. Right? This one's going to be done in two steps. I'm going to start by creating this bottom half right in here. I look at my blueprint. The bottom is five inches wide and one and a quarter or 1.25 tall. So I'm going to start that in Onshape. Got Onshape opened up. Hit Create, Document. Disable this part six. Start a new sketch on my front view. On the left hand side, I turn these three eyes off. Go to the front view on my view cube. And again, I'm starting by creating this bottom rectangle. I'm going to use this as my start point. I'll go down 1.25 and then to the left, 5. 9. 1.25. Enter. To the left, 5. Back up one, 1 1.25, and then back to my start. And there I've got my bound object. Hit my finish sketch. I do my extrusions from the isometric view, and I extrude this 1.5, right? This is the front of that rectangle, this is the back of that rectangle. So I'm looking at 1. 0.5 or one and a half. Get my green check. All right, once I've got the bottom created, I look at my worksheet. I'm going to create these back two triangles. Notice they are along the back side of my part. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my part and rotate it to the back side. I'm going to add a new sketch on the back side. Right? I have two triangles that go up, down towards the middle, up, and then back down towards the middle. Those dimensions, the height of this triangle is 1.25, right? Half of my two and a half inches. So 1.25. Click on line. I'm going to start at this top right corner. I'm going to go up, click, 1.25. The nice thing about the program is that It'll now identify the exact center point of my part. If I take my cursor and I drag it along that top, see how it wants to snap? That's the middle of my part. I click, and then I'm going to go up 1.25, click, and then back down. And that should give me two objects. Right? I can double check my dimension to verify that this dimension is 2.5, which is supposed to be. Uh, we're good to go and we're going to hit finish sketch. Go to my isometric view, click extrude, click on both triangles that I just made. You can see that they're moving off the part though. This little arrow here will allow you to switch your direction. And my extrusion, if I look at my sheet, the extrusion or the thickness of one, these two triangles here is 0.75. my green check. And there is part number six on worksheet number one. Thank you.